And you guys, to thrift to gift is to save money, is to help the environment, is to give meaningful gifts that you can't just buy anywhere. Hey guys, this is your comprehensive guide to thrift to gift. So I'm gonna walk you through some ideas, some avenues of doing this, and then we'll go through a couple of projects. So when thrifting to find gifts to give to someone, there are several different options of how to do that. So this is something you can decide in advance or decide as you're figuring it out after you've shopped or while you're in the store. The first category is good as is. So these are items that you are finding that are in near perfect condition that don't need any DIY from you. You can find things that have the original tags on them that are still in a box. So those kinds of things that create less work for you that are just good as is, which may or may not be easy to find. Um, some of those things include books, DVDs, maybe you have a childhood favorite movie that you and your friends have bonded over or a sibling that's very nostalgic to you, giving them a DVD from the thrift store of that show is a great sentimental gift. And then a lot of thrift stores nowadays sell like brand new packaged things, um, a lot of the times by the checkout area and especially during Christmas, I feel like you find more of that stuff that I guess was just overstock from another store. I found these eyeglass cleaners that clean both sides of your lenses at once. I thought those were fun and it's a keychain so you can you know, attach it to your purse or something and have it with you all the time. That would come in handy with anybody who has glasses. I can attest to that. This collapsible lantern for camping I found there. I found um, work lights, multi-tools for builders or campers or whatever. Um, mini chess boards, those types of small gifts. And then I always seem to find pet products that are brand new, even pet beds and toys and brushes and all that kind of stuff. So if you're trying to find a gift for someone who has a pet, then maybe check out the thrift store first. Another option for this too is getting little wooden pieces. You know, you can find like little trains or bird houses or boxes and different things like that. Some of it comes from like the dollar store or whatever, but just gathering some of those and making a little art kit for a kid maybe, or you know, anyone who likes to paint and is into art. And then you can pair that with some paints or something and that allows the gifty to do all the DIYing for you. So that's a fun idea that it's a gift that is an activity and a project. The next category is stuff that you're getting that needs cleaning, but that's about it. So these are items that are in good shape. They just need a good clean when you get home. Often plastic products can like, you know, those little white marks or black marks on them are easy to erase with a magic eraser and you can take some things and make them look pretty much brand new. So a lot of toys are made out of plastic, so those kinds of things would be awesome. And because we're buying secondhand, you may be able to get something that would normally be out of your price range if you were to buy it at a regular store. So maybe like some neat remote control car or something like that. I often find little kids scooters and little you know kids cars and things that they can play on and sometimes they're in great condition and just need to be cleaned a little bit. Something that's normally a little too steep in price for me are the Melissa and Doug wooden toys. I love that they are kind of like that Montessori style wooden, they last forever and kind of inspire creativity with the kids to play. It's a very open-ended style of play. And I found a lot of those at the thrift store. I have this cleaning caddy that I found, I think it was maybe like five bucks they were charging, maybe eight times more expensive if you buy it brand new. And it had all the pieces, the dustpan and the little brush. I also found a bunch of these fishing rods. There's some plastic on it, but it's mainly wood and it's got a magnetic, oh. Well, I think my kids broke this one already, but I have a couple more and they have like a little magnetic thing that hangs down to fish. Um, so yeah, so those kinds of things are really durable and you know, a higher quality item that you can still find at the thrift store and clean up and use. This also includes clothing that's in good condition and just needs to be cleaned or a hole stitched up. Cake stands or like glass cloches. You can find some nice things like that that are good as is. Just, uh, you know, you can style them or include, you know, cookies or something in them or whatever to make it 
sort of like a double gift. And maybe a piece of furniture as well, especially for like a young adult living on their own for the first time. Most of the time they'll take anything that they can get and if you have furniture you need to give away as well, you could offer that as a gift to them. That, you know, the value of that could actually be pretty significant. Um, so that could be a great gift. An old couch or table or something. That can be good too if you're one of those project people who have furniture that you mean to redo and never get around to. So if you're not gonna get to it, it's uh, good to give it away as a gift. The next category is stuff that just needs some superficial work, either to recover, refinish, or paint. So anything wooden, decor, toys, furniture, um, little trays or wooden bowls, I love to get those at thrift stores. You can sand down, like if they've got a finish you don't really love or it's kind of orangey, you can sand it down to like its natural wood color and that can look a little more updated and trendy, but that's all that's required is a little sanding. You know, or if you want to do a certain color, their favorite color, or new varnish and redo something. In one of my thrift flip type videos, I had this wooden tray that I just re-sanded and refinished and it was really nice so and then at that point they look brand new because they've just been newly refinished picture frames you know you can sand them down or you know if they're metal or something you can paint them embellish them add some like moss around it or greenery or you know whatever and um and then include a photo something nice of them or their family or something that uh you know that they would appreciate and that way it's already done for them and it's ready to go style on a shelf. There may be some things you find that need a little repair work. You can get creative with it. One technique is to embellish an area that you can't repair to kind of hide it, adding a feature to it or gluing something. And then the last category is to DIY something out of it and change it into something new. If you guys have seen that, like Pinterest idea is pretty old, but taking a men's collared extra large shirt, cutting it, using a pattern and creating an adorable little girl's dress out of it. Something like that would be cool because you can find good fabric at the thrift store and anything like that. If uh, you found some nice fabric or a sweater that's a nice material that you want to reuse, <clears throat> you know, you can make pillows out of it or a new cushion. You can recover a chair with the fabric, make little bags out of them, hats, etc. So nice fabric. Is, uh, look, check for fabric when you're at the thrift store. And then you can also use fabric to just turn into cloth napkins. That one is super easy. Just need some material. You cut out squares and you can kind of hem the edges and that's pretty much it. Turning any sort of vessel into a candle or a jewelry holder, you know, out of any material or size. Oh, in addition to fabric, you can also get yarn thrifted and then create some sort of macrame wall hanging or plant hanger. You can DIY some art using an old canvas or a picture frame. You can also use what you already have laying around in your house if you don't want to thrift one. And then you can create new depth and texture using like spackling or texture paste or baking soda in the paint and create a whole new custom original piece for them to hang up on the wall. And you don't have to be an artist, it'll still be a special personal touch. You know, just pick out some colors and just have fun making something. It can be abstract. An idea that comes to mind is this lamp that I saw on Pinterest years ago that I wanted to recreate and I started um, finding little action figures at the thrift store to kind of glue and attach to the base of this metal lamp that I had and then spray paint the whole thing like a metallic color probably. That's another idea of taking, I guess it's still a lamp but it's transformed into a whole different style of lamp. You'll, we'll have to hunt for some things so it might take a little more time but that would be really neat. And aside from shopping at thrift stores, you can shop secondhand at garage sales, estate sales, Facebook marketplace, Craigslist, let go, offer up, and any other resale apps. So there's a lot of avenues to get something secondhand and thrifted. And this can be a great way to look for something if you wanna do a nice high ticket item that would normally be out of your price range like we talked about. You know, you can find some nicer stuff than what you would find at a thrift store sometimes, you know, on Facebook Marketplace. And then you can like look, search specifically, you know, word search specific keywords that you're looking for, you know, and you can get like, video game consoles or a slide or something big that 
costs a lot of money, um, this is a great way to get it for cheaper. You know, you can always negotiate the price. Um, another, some other ideas like a gently used kitchen appliance. If you are still wanting to try out the air fryer or something, a lot of people buy them only use them a few times and they just sit there and they end up reselling them so you can find good stuff. I got my daughter's play kitchen, the little like princess thing, for about 20 bucks I think. It was around Christmas time. It was in really nice shape. I think it was missing a couple of like pieces to it and there wasn't any play food with it but I was easy to source myself. <laughs> but I just had to clean it off, maybe replace the batteries. You know, my daughter wouldn't be able to tell the difference if it came freshly out of a box or not. It was set up Christmas morning and she loved it. Oh, another avenue too is uh, like free off the side of the road stuff. You know, you can find like a really cool mirror or some old crappy shelf that you can turn into like an open dollhouse for like Barbies and stuff. Some of those things might take a little more imagination and creativity, but you know, they're out there. So keep an open mind. You can also just thrift the container for the gift that you're giving, whether it's a woven basket, bins, boxes, jars, you know, you can get a nice new pair of earrings and pair that with a thrifted jewelry holder. Or you can just thrift the bags or wrapping paper or ribbon. One year at an estate sale, I got a ton of like those garment boxes and a bunch of little Christmassy baggies and I just used those up over the following couple of years. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say hi. Hi. So now we're gonna get into some projects of some things that I found thrifting that I will, you know, flip or clean and uh, be able to re-gift it. I hope you enjoy. Goodwill and it has this beautiful sort of dripped paint effect that's layered with different shades of blue and it's really unique and pretty and there's some like unglazed sections as well. It's got a very thin top so you could put a few sprigs in there and it has like a signature on the bottom so it's very much a handmade one-of-a-kind piece that I didn't have to make myself but is still handmade and really unique and what's nice is you're not having to pay that high price of you know getting an, uh, commissioning an artist to make a piece for you or ordering one on Etsy you're getting something thrifted so it's a really nice piece that could have cost a lot of money, but you go out for a couple bucks. Okay, I'm trying to reshoot some of this because my camera is not focusing on my face. Um, so hopefully this is better. These little miniature candle holders I thought were so cool. I found them at a thrift store recently. They were 50 cents each. I think they're like a patinaed copper. So it's got this woven pattern, but it's all made out of metal, which is really cool how they were able to manipulate the metal and form it into this really cool shape and form. I think it's just this teal color is sort of the patina from the copper. Either that or someone's done a really good job of faking that effect. 
really incredible, just the type of thing that you just can't find, you know? So uh, I think these would be really cute if you found some candlesticks that were the right size, gave them as a gift, you could pair it with a couple of the things. These would be so cute, so unique. I love that they're kind of miniature. And you know, if you know somebody who loves this teal color, it would be perfect. So I just thought these were really special. I love a good woven basket. I try to find really sturdy ones that'll hold up. This color is kind of fun, but you can always paint them. Or if they're the natural like wicker color, you can stain them to change the look of it as well. I found this the other day and just thought it was really cool. I think it's to put like silverware and napkins in it and it's got a really sturdy handle. It's a beautiful tight weave, like pretty much perfect condition. I thought this would be a really cute gift idea to put you know some things in it and fill it up and you know instead of just giving them any old basket it's a more purposeful basket that has a specific use for them to use after. So as I said getting wooden pieces from the thrift store is a great idea. An example of that is this wooden doll furniture set. The rest of it is in the garage. There's a table, chairs, two beds. They all have these cute little like finial details on them and they're dirty but I can just clean them off, I can sand them, refinish them, paint them, and create something really cool that'll kind of last forever because it's solid wood. Customize it to whatever little girl I'm giving it to. And I think the whole set was less than $10 total, so a great deal. Obviously that would cost you know, at least 10 times that if you bought it brand new. And just putting a little time and effort into it can become something really cool. And just remember that it's the thought that counts. Whatever you end up doing, if the person who receives it feels loved, they will appreciate it. And over the next couple of years, they probably won't even remember what you gave them, but they're more likely to remember the feeling that they got when you gave them something. And they're more likely to remember how you made them feel. That's what's really important. Getting emotional talking about gifts. <laughs> anyway, so basically, Cost is irrelevant. Anything that you give with good intentions is gonna be heartfelt and well accepted and received from the giftee. Yeah. Anything that shows that you thought of them is really amazing. And if you're still nervous about it, you can always give them a heads up and let them know, hey, I'm doing homemade Christmas this year or I'm doing thrifted Christmas this year, so don't expect too much from my gifts if you wanna you know, set the bar low so you're not disappointing anyone. And everybody will understand, it's not a big deal. People do this, people thrift to gift, and you know, and if someone questions you about it, you can explain what it is and that it's a great way to reduce and reuse and save money at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful and that you guys have a great Christmas. Hopefully I sparked an idea for you or something. Your wheels turning for next year. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one, bye. So as I said, getting wooden... Who's this battery? Well, I tried that one and it didn't work. Hey everyone! Do you want to say happy birthday to Balloonie?